That'd be good rock band name too. Hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> He's like, show me the light. Okay. So I'll get some pictures and a little bit of video. All right, cool. Okay. This will look. out because I'm hungry and I want to go get sushi and oh sweet dude you know that's so here we have Jimmy from affirming the consequent it's very exciting so you guys you're uh, in the studio right now you are record recording your first full length CD trying to trying to how's okay. that going huh so far it's going uh, well <laughs> it's uh, Right now we've got about four songs done. We've got one that we'll probably need to rework on. Um, you know, the big key is uh, basically feeling the vibe and stuff. And uh, it's um, Sunday, and we're a little bit. What studio are you, are you using? Uh, Waterworks Studio. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you think he's doing so far? I think he's doing a really, really good job. I worked uh, with him one time with our guitarist in the band, and we worked on his uh, solo CD. So I was in here before and stuff and sound good you know quality and doing good man. Right. And uh, what are your five essential catalog albums or music that you cannot live without? Oh I have such I, I love all kinds. Um, basically I think uh, one of my best albums I like is a new Avenged Sevenfold. Yeah you like that one a lot? I do. Very very good. I got a chance to see them live. Um, I actually like Journey's Greatest Hits, <laughs> which to me it's great because I grew up during that you know time. Um, I've got some CDs from uh, I'd say Gap Band Three, which was you know very very cool. Um, and obviously my first CD I ever bought was uh, Crocus Alive and Screaming. <laughs> so yeah, was that on that CD one, or was that on vinyl? Was, it was on CD. It really? Was on, it was the very first one I got. So. You're talking about album or CD that you got? Uh, that, was, that was CD. Okay. My uh, first album, or actually it was a 45 I bought at Woolco. It was Robbie Dupree, Hot Rod Hearts. That <laughs> takes it back a long time. So Now, what do you think of the... Uh, what, what is your take on emerging digital stores such as Napster, eMusic, or iTunes? I think it's a good... Uh, concept because there's a lot of music out there that becomes more available you know to the consumer but the only problem that I have with it is the record companies as you know have been getting on file sharing and stuff like that so they're suing individuals for it but the problem is is they're not giving the musicians their fair share too I guess you know and that's it's like we're the ones you know all musicians are the ones that create the sound we do the songs but unfortunately we're the ones that sort of get kind of stuck in you know the end so I would like to see the record company share more of their sales and stuff through those mm -hmm. well, that's where BMI and companies like that yeah um, are you guys going to be using BMI for this CD do you think I, I, I don't know. Right now, we're just getting in, trying to get through these, you know, songs and stuff. Uh, we do want to get some organization with the band and stuff, and get some uh, direction. And you know, we need to get some things, you know, going and stuff. And so. Well, what do you think of the current state of musicians being more famous for their celebrity than their music? Um, it's a shame. I mean, everything right now is is radio oriented. Um, and unfortunately, there's a lot of great musicians out there. I mean, even here in town, we have so many, you know, clubs out here. We got Fourth Avenue, we got downtown. And since I got back into the music scene, and there's there's a lot of great stuff going on out here. But the club owners want that kind of radio sound, that sound that will draw in and stuff like that. And so you know what? If if you give a lot of these bands a shot, you know, they'll be very surprised at what's out there.
And who all is in your band and what did they play? All right, uh, we have our singer is Mr. Eric Despaz, and I'm sure you guys know who he is because he's been on your show, Tim. Mm -hmm. uh, Harry James plays guitar, um, Alex plays the bass, and then of course me on the drums. Okay, and uh, how long has your band been playing out for? Uh, we've been playing out for, I'd say, about ooh, six months. We've been together for about eight. And the amazing thing with this band is we've written so much songs, and we've probably got 15 to 20 of our own songs, but we really just write whatever. In fact, last week at band practice, we actually wrote a country song. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll so a wide variety right there. Yeah, very, very young. Okay. So is making music your only job? Uh, no, unfortunately, uh, right now I'm working at American Airlines, so I'm a fleet service clerk. I'm the one that, you know, wands in the airplane and loads your bags and all that other stuff, so. And uh, did any band or artist change your life, and if so, how? Um, you know what? It's going to be kind of strange to some, but anyways, when I was a kid, first got MTV, one of the first videos I saw was Def Leppard Photograph. Yeah. And I just was fell in love with that band. I've been a fan since. I've seen them eight or ten times. I guess what, um, ins what inspires me from that band is they've been through adversity. They had a guitarist die. You had a dr drummer lose his arm. Basically, had to re-teach himself and stuff. And you know what? And they're still around. Whether you like what they're doing now, but you know, 30 years, they're still touring. They're still doing their thing. So, what's that tentative release date for the CD? Well, we hopefully, I would say February sometime, uh, probably toward the end of that, because we, we need to get together and we really want to present a good quality CD. We don't want just like some CD and just throw it in a, you know, jewel case and boom, you know, we're, we're going to get together and see if we can get some artwork done on the front and back and, and really present a good quality. And uh, CD release on the CD? Uh, don't know yet. Don't know yet? Yeah, everything's up in the air still, so we're just trying to Well, I to hope so. Day. You guys better have a CD release party. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Um, we will. It will be at Surly Wench. I don't know the date, but you can go to our MySpace site, which is www.myspace.com backslash affirming the consequence, and we've got some new shows. Do you on. know who else is playing that? Uh, uh, we I think we're going to be with Rising Conviction, and they're out of Phoenix. Okay. So I believe that. So Cool. All right. Well, thank you very much for doing the interview. I will let you get back to uh, the whole recording process. Cool. And best of uh, luck, and we look forward to having you guys on the show in the actual studio soon. Thank you very much. And I just found what this was that? Jim Waters studio. It is a... Did it say pussy on the front? Yes, it does. <laughs> I don't know if you can show that or not. Pussy. Okay. I can do anything on the internet. It is, um, it's cat food. Pussy. Yeah. Do you it's like pussy? Cat, cat, I do. I do. It's, 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 a, it's a good thing, but then it's a bad thing. It can get you in a lot of trouble, but it can make you happy. Sure can. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Talk to you soon, Jimmy. All right. Thanks. Bye.